aerospace subsector encompasses transportation of passengers or goods in the air and the use of equipment such as aircraft, helicopters and space vehicles such as rockets, spaceships and drones. It involves the provision and management of airport, heliports and airspace services. It also involves other support services such as the manufacture, maintenance and repair of air transport related equipment. The biggest employer companies are state-owned enterprises such as South African Airways, SAA, with its subsidiaries SAA Technical, SA Airlink, Mango, South African Air Force, SAAF, South African Civil Aviation, SACAA, Air Traffic and Navigation Services, ATNS, Airports Company of South Africa, ACSA, South African Air Wing and Denel. Within the aviation subsector, there are drones, and these are defined as an unmanned aircraft which is piloted from a remote pilot station. Also, it can be called unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV. The UAV is the heart of the UAS and possesses fixed wings or either a single or multi-rotary build for flight. Commercial and non-profit operations are a lot more heavily regulated than private operations. For commercial drone operation purposes, one needs to apply to the South African Civil Aviation Authority SACAA, for a letter of approval, a certificate of registration, a remotely piloted aircraft systems RPAS, pilot's license RPL, and Remote Pilot Operator Certificate, ROC. The remote pilot is the person who manages the flight, commanding instructions to a drone during flight, and is the person who needs to apply for the RPAS license. The ROC applies to the company or organization that intends to operate the drone and not the pilot specifically. There are a number of training centers in Gauteng and one in the Western Cape. In order to apply for an RPL, the applicant must be over 18, hold current medical assessment, similar to a normal pilot's license, and have the approved training. South Africa does recognize foreign training, but it must be approved and validated. There must be a practical and theoretical assessment, and one must also be proficient in English. The RPL is valid for two years. Upon expiry, the holder must submit for a revalidation check. An application to operate a drone for commercial or non-profit purposes must be submitted to the director of the SACAA to issue the letter of approval and certificate of registration along with an RPL, ROC, air services license, operations manual, insurance, and identification as specified in CATS. Today, drones have become increasingly popular in aviation, especially when it involves delivery services or for recreational use. This breathtaking innovation has transformed the way we deliver goods, capture pictures, and defend the skies. From a business perspective, drones increase both efficiency and quality, while hugely decreasing costs. In terms of the military, they provide an advantage against their opponent, whilst posing no risk on their own personnel. However, with great inventions come some threats. In the wrong hands, drones can infiltrate people's privacy, but also cause great hazard for air traffic in the busy skies we had pre-COVID-19. While drones have caused some negative impacts on aviation, however, the positives outweigh them significantly. So what can we use the drone for? Military. Probably the oldest, most well-known and controversial use of drones is in the military. The British and the US militaries started using very basic forms of drones in the early 1940s to spy on the Axis powers. Today's drones are much more advanced than the UAVs of yesteryear. Equipped with thermal imaging, laser range finders, and even tools to perform airstrikes. Delivery. Delivery drones are usually autonomous UAVs that are used to transport food, packages, or goods to your front doorstep. 
These flying vehicles are known as last mile delivery drones because they are used to make deliveries from stores or warehouses close by. Sometimes it's just not safe enough to send humans into a rescue situation due to the scope or severity of the disaster. That's where drones come in. In the case of a capsized boat or drowning individual, officials can throw an autonomous underwater vehicle, AUV, into the water to assist in the rescue. Agriculture. Drones have proven to be beneficial to the agriculture industry as well, presenting farmers with several ways to optimize their farms to maximize efficiency and reduce physical strain. Carrying out field surveys, seeding over fields, tracking livestock, and estimating crop yield are all made easier through the use of UAVs while saving agriculture professionals valuable time. Wildlife and Historical Conservation Drones are a cheaper and more efficient alternative to wildlife conservation. Tracking wildlife populations is nearly impossible with humans on the ground. Having an eye in the sky allows wildlife conservationists to track roaming groups of animals. Conservation drones also make perfect tools in the fight against poaching efforts in Asia and Africa. Drones in construction Drones can be used in the construction sector for various applications. RPASs can be an invaluable tool in the construction industry. UAVs can provide real-time data, furthermore keeping you up to date and keeping your project on track. They can also be used to obtain spectacular pictures for company publications and in addition, press releases. Visual Inspection Aid Using the highest quality industrial grade UAV equipment operated by skilled and experienced pilots offer safe and efficient inspection solutions. Solutions tailored to our clients' needs, providing key inspection information in a fraction of the time and cost of other remote access services. The mobility of the drone offers inspections above, beside, or underneath any target and location, allowing unprecedented access monitoring and inspection. Structural, vegetation, landscaping. So what carriers are there in the drone industry? The drone industry is predominantly a sector where pilots are mostly self-employed in all the sectors previously mentioned. A pilot can get employment but in South Africa, where the industry is still growing compared to other nations like the UK, Rwanda, and the US. We are still in the development stages of the industry, and thus the market being niche, most forms of employment come from business-related activities. The following jobs exist in the drone industry worldwide and in South Africa. 1. Drone photographer and filmmaker. Let's lump up all aerial photography and filmmaking jobs under one item. Just because describing all types of jobs under this category would be long enough to make a separate list. Being one of the most enticing fields for drone pilots, drone photography and filmmaking has the biggest market and also the largest number of pilots who offer the service. 2. Precision Agriculture Surveyor Precision agriculture is a niche application of drone technology which is precisely the reason why you should consider it. It's quite advanced just because it requires a third-party accessory, a multi-spectral sensor. 3. Drone 3D Modeler Creating 3D maps and models using drones is a job with wide applications. Any industry that requires heavy construction, such as mining, urban planning and civil engineering, can benefit from a 3D terrain model. Four. Powerline Inspector Power lines get damaged over time and require regular maintenance so they can remain in working condition. The challenge lies in having to inspect miles worth of power lines just to look for damaged sections, which can be very short. Having to do this manually takes a long time, not to mention the hazard that power line inspection teams get exposed to if they have to work at hides. Drones take this hazard away and can even do the job faster. 5. Rooftop Inspector A service that combines drone photography and 3D modeling, a drone rooftop inspection will prove to be useful to real estate agents, roof repair crews, solar panel installers, insurance adjusters, and homeowners. 
It's easy to imagine how the appearance and condition of the roof plays a huge role in the value of any house, making this a high-demand application of drone technology. 6. Search and Rescue Team Member Law enforcement agencies and emergency responders worldwide have taken to using drones to help augment their capabilities. For situations that require search and rescue, a drone is a perfect tool. It can cover a lot of ground quickly and provides a bird's eye view of the search area and can be deployed at a moment's notice. 7. Drone Flight Instructor Speaking of providing training, how about being a full-time drone flight instructor? For those with a knack for teaching and talking to people, this may sound like a very good idea. Becoming a professional drone pilot has become a legitimately viable career option in 2020. With more and more industries and companies recognizing the value of drones, a good drone pilot now has a wide horizon of well-paying opportunities. Drones in the fourth industrial revolution. Just as the mobile phone market saw Africa leading the world in various applications, many believe that the use of drones will eventually have the same positive socio-economic impact on the continent and be adopted globally. Drones are already starting to revolutionize how some countries tackle service delivery challenges to improve the lives of their citizens and build their economies through entrepreneurship. In South Africa, the use of drones for commercial and non-commercial use is at a very early stage, with the Civil Aviation Authority passing regulations this year on drones spraying crops. In conclusion, drones are driving the fourth industrial revolution and we can only advance further in terms of development using drones.